高兴呢，在这里呃，大家一起关心台湾农业的这个议题的朋友呢，都一起聚到这边啊。今天晚上我们聚集在一起，来参加这个泰国米之神与小农站在一起的大革命。Oh, 小农是小小的，但是我们在启动一个很大的革命。Oh. So good evening, everybody. So <laughs> I'm glad to come here and have opportunity to talk with you and present something for you. Uh, one thing a little bit change is uh, I prepared uh, another PowerPoint to tonight for the uh, audience and it focuses on the Thai farmer. That how they changed, but uh, in the car from the uh, restaurant to here, a professor told me that he interesting in technology. How we can use technology to compete with the chemical technology? How we can increase yield, less input, and keep ecology less labor? How possible? This. Uh, make me change to the yesterday uh, PowerPoint that I present in the University of Taiwan for uh, Professor Gua, who the Dean of uh, uh, Economy. So this must be more technique to please the professor who hosts this. Thank you. We have to share yeah, yeah. for okay. the moment, I'm sorry. Um, uh, Dave Chia Kang said that um, 今天本来的题目是要谈，呃，在泰国这些呃美之神的经验，但是呃，今天等于是呃，当然在一起用晚餐跟来的路上，跟邱老师在聊。那邱老师对于这一个，就是怎么是用什么样的方式或是技术，能够让有机的农法完完全全不会输给惯性农法，从成本上，从效率上。那呃，邱老师是很希望说。啊、uh, ，等一下，今天是不是可以多谈一点点这方面啊？ Uh, 实际上是怎么做的？啊、uh, ，就是一些实际上，呃、uh, ，这些技术在泰国是每天是怎么做？所以，呃、uh, ，等一下就决定，呃、uh, ，把今天的 PowerPoint 换成比较像是昨天在台大，好、uh, ，台大农艺系啊，郭华仁郭老师那边的演讲，我、uh, 所以他做这样子一个小小的说明。Page up, page down. Okay, thank you. So. Uh, even appropriate, or appropriate technology or the intermediate technology is simple. Uh, the, the principle of appropriate technology is one is uh, easy, tempo, uh, simple, cheap, uh, small, and not complicated, not destroy ecology. Uh, this are uh, very simple, but when in practice there are some complicated a little bit but I'm not worried because tonight we have the translator who come to our organization and train this technique already so he can easily translate my present so I'm lucky <laughs> <笑>他那个帽子已经扣下来，我好好给他洗啊。本<笑>来开玩笑的，他说：“其实虽然讲到技术了哈，但是呃，这个技术啊，他、呃、他自己这样的实践下来，其实是一个很简单的技术。好，然后呢，事实上这个技术也不花钱，好，不过度花钱，对环境也非常友善，也是一个呃小的技术。那当然他提到的是说，但是在任何事情在做的时候，总是真正下去做的时候，在操作面上。”还是有一些没没嘎嘎哈，有一些哈。那他的意思是说，因为我刚过去，然后在那边学了，所以理论上这诶、欸、这些虽然这些没没嘎没没嘎嘎，我还是要能够翻译的很好。所以我说这个帽子已经戴上去了。好。呃、uh, ，the first question is why I myself that graduate in anyone anyone has friendly not the agronomy not the rice at all why I myself working with anyone, come to this field and develop appropriate technology for small rice farmer for 22 years. This is a big question. Why? Why I must develop this technique even I'm not agronomy at all. So, <laughs> so uh, I must give you a little bit 
uh, information about Thailand. The Thai is the uh, number one export, exporter of rice, you know. One number one for 30 years or more. We export around 7 to 10 million tons per year export. The number one. But the Thai rice farmer, about 20 million, is very, very poor and more poor. <laughs> this is the question why we are number one, why the producer is really poor. So that the reason why I come to this uh, appropriate technology for the rice farmer. Tesha 认为这样是不对的，怎么样协助这些农友不要这样一直亏损？这是这这是这样子的一个背景，让他开始这件事情的，差不多也快三十年了。Uh, because I'm not young, <laughs> so I have long enough. I live long enough and born long enough to see uh, how the old farmer before they use the new technique. Uh, more than 50 years ago, this happy. They low yield once a year, which is uh, variety, no chemical. This still happy. But after 50 years that we adopt high yielding variety and chemical and grow two or three times a year, increase every, every year the uh, yield. But the farmer themselves is poorer and poorer. And the debt is increased and increased. So every debt of the rice farmer in my province, around half million Taiwan dollar per family. Um, <coughs> 在绿色革命之前就是说这些农友的产量的确是提高了但是在提高的同时呢这些农友是负债的而且是非常的不快的那这是很吊诡尤其是在他说在他的省份那个 So I simply find out why the rice farmer is poor. Is rice is not good. If rice is not good, everybody who working with rice must be poor. But I look around who connecting with rice. My family is a rice, rice mill, a big, very really big rice mill, very rich. My family is rice mill, it's very rich. The rice, rice exporter, more rich. And the tractor, trader for the farmer, rich. The factory who sell the fertilizer and sell the pesticide is very rich. Why only the rice farmer is poor? Everybody who connect with rice is rich. Oh, it's not, not because rice, it's because something that 
beyond rice, so I find out. Thank you. Um 那同樣的賣農藥賣化學肥料一起拉拉出就是就是只有農藥一直負債所以顯然的不是稻米這個行業不可以做而是這當中出了一些問題。So because so because the time is short, I cannot uh, use more time more than 8 p.m. So one of the cause of the poverty of the rice farmer is the technique that promoting by the government and the company and that technique not origin in Thailand origin somewhere outside like a technique that come from Ely you know Ely Indian Rice Research Institute in Philippines but not belong to Philippines it controlled by the US the director of Ely the first and now is US the American so it means that American control the policy of the rice growing in our country 50 years ago and most of the technique promoting chemical is not for our farmer but for someone that American promoting this uh, conspiracy so I find out what, what caused our farmer follow is a technique that come in package when the seed are eating variety seed that connect with the uh, market, connecting with the mechanism, mechanized, connecting with the chemical, all together make the farmer poor because in this technique, the farmer is nothing. They know nothing. They just follow, 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 and command by someone who control that technique. 所以他去研究他去研究说为什么这些农业会上技术就是这些现在在绿色革命以后这些耕作农业的技术当然这些技术都是国家政府在推广同时也是这些公司在推广都在跟你讲说这些技术都好多好的确产量增加了但是其实这个产量的增加的前提是用这一个种子可是不是只用这个种子它必须有配套措施这个配套措施就是这些种子一定是要在农药化学肥料的前一定要使用农药化学肥料这些才能够高产量如果不使用农药化学肥料这些不会有高产
Not Newton at all. 通常我们都会有一个错觉，就是技术是中立的，技术并没有所谓好跟坏。那 Data 其实想要很明确的告诉各位是，要看技术是，不是公平的，不是中立的。那他想讲的意思就是说，所谓的农业技术里面，你要看是谁在推广这个技术，然后这个技术长久以来到底是谁在受贿。谁是得到这个技术的最最大的利益者？那我绿色革命到现在五十年了，我们回头去看，到底是谁真的得到这个技术的好处？好，所以技术并不是一个中立，而是他为谁服务？他到底是为了农友服务，还是为这些跨国公司在服务 ？I'm Buddhism. I Buddhist. I became the monk, the Buddhist monk for m o m e n t for m o n t I graduate and I work. With the government and our own business. Before I became the monk, I just priest very appreciate the technique that high tech is very very modernized. I'm blind. After I became the monk for one training, hard meditation, and I'm not blind anymore. I see clearly, and I found that this technique. Is evil. Before, our farmer is very happy, even not rich, but not poor. Now, our farmer is very, very poor, and minus a lot of debt. In the past, our farmer is、uh, sufficiency. They don't want to rich at all. They just relax and enjoy life. But now. Our farmer is greedy. They want more and more and more. Even they get nothing, but they want more and more. And when they greedy, they come anger, the cause of evil. They anger because they don't mind anybody. They want more yield, more money. Everything is for money. So when they see something in the right field, like a rat, like a crab, like a snail, like a insect. They just kill, kill, kill only. The Buddhists tell you that you not kill, you should not kill. Use mercy, your kindness, it's gone. Kill. They kill a lot. So this kind of farmer I cannot see in before. In, I'm Buddhist. I'm very sorry that the Thai farmer is very cruel, even the poor. But they still kill because they greedy, so they anger, so they come to ignorance. They know nothing. They brainwashing them. They just follow because they just greedy, anger, so they ignorance at all. They don't know what happened. Not, not like me. They blind like me before I became the monk. So this is a story that why I must come and show them that you are blind. You not follow the evil. You not kindness. You not sufficiency. You not wisdom. We are Buddhism. We are no just giant. We are not a、uh, money animal. This、uh, main cause that I working for a long time. Um. 当然，也是他自己的一个呃自我的回馈，就是说，呃，刚刚提到，呃，他是生长在一个有钱的一个年米，算是有钱人的家庭。那在他成为一个呃佛教徒，就等于是他说他是一个佛教徒。那也经过四个月的这样子短期的出家。其实他说，在他没有出家之前，他其实也是跟大部分的社会主流一样，对于所谓的高产量的科技是深信不疑的。好，只要谈到高产量，好，还有对于所谓的科技，觉得这就是一个呃非常好的东西。那经过这个四个月的的的一个出家，他觉得呃，透过呃修行当中的一个静坐，透过修行当中的这些。修炼，让他看到一些真相，啊，当然就看到，当然其中一个真相就是，其实现在的农友往往是
违反佛法的在做。那首先第一个是贪，哦，就想要产量越多，产量越多。然后呢，因为要产量很多，就会对很多东西都很生气。只要来破坏我产量的，一律赶尽杀绝。哦，只要来减低我产量的哦，比如说有虫，虫也要全部杀掉。那因为很生气，在过程当中他觉得这些农友不但贫穷，而且杀杀业很重，哦，就是杀杀杀杀杀，只要田里面哦，任何就是宁可叫什么哎，宁、欸、可错杀哎，反正就是全部都杀，对不对？不管好的坏的。那再来，当然这个过程当中，因为贪婪，然后。对什么东西都生气，其实就是非常的盲目。那在过程当中，呃 d e s h a 透过这样子的一个自己的一个修行，其实，在看佛法当中，一个重要的是，这些他很希望在还没有绿色革命之前的农友是满足的，然后是能够自己的，同时呢，也充满着对敬畏天地的一种智慧。可是现在的农友，那当然从佛法观点刚刚讲的。呃，其实就是贪、嗔、痴，嗔当然是生气，痴就是盲目。贪，当然南传佛教或我们是汉传佛教有点不一样，不过反正这些语言是差不多的。那就是他觉得说，经过这样子的理解之后，也给他给他一些人生的一种方向跟使命，希望透过呃对于佛法的了解，把它转到对于能够让小龙在至少在思维上开始不是一直追求。高产量的贪婪，导致对所有东西的生气，然后是生气到盲目的程度。So, uh, the techniques that come to farmer most come from government themselves. Some come from the big company, but we found that no different at all. Even in university, the college that teach the Economy. The same. They said, you must use chemical. You must kill them. You must destroy them. Everything is the same. No religion at all. No mercy at all. Kill only. So, this kind of technology, they claim that it's only way to help yield to feed the people. It's only way. You cannot stop. You must use this. So I ask, can we, I and the farmer, develop technology that equal or better than you, but not kill, not buy, no violence, peaceful? Can we? So that's the beginning of the technology that we call appropriate technology that supporting the Buddhist economy or sufficiency economy. This is uh, the beginning. And after this, I present you what success. Because after 22 years, only in Supanburi, we have the student farmer who follow us, became the best farmer in Thailand, except by the government. Not only one, but two. It's easy. But even we success, the government not promoting at all. And more than that, the farmer who see the success also not follow, none at all. I teach for 22 years, but the farmer around our office, many, maybe hundreds of household, no one follow us at all, all chemical. This is very bad because the belief of the chemical brainwashing by the media, controlled by the government and the big company every, every, every day, every day. So it's much more problem than technology themselves. Uh, the 大学里面的教授都是异口同声，啊、哦，就是说这样子的一个啊、哦、化学肥料、农药是高产量的唯一保证。如果你不用农药、不用化学肥料，产量一定会很低。那对于一个学佛的对象来讲，啊、哦，对于学佛对象来讲，嗯
他觉得这样是不对的，这完全是这样子的做法，完全是违法、违反佛法的做法。所以呢，今天所谓的一个什么叫，如果今天要定义这个叫 appropriate technology， 什么叫适当的科技？简单的定义就是符合佛法的科技。第一个是不杀，哦，不杀。第二个是主张是能够。不要依赖金钱，能够自己做就尽量自己，不不依赖外来的金钱。所以，呃，简单来讲就是适当的科技，第一个是支持佛法的经济学，第二个是自己能够自己动手的金钱。那所以他说，其实二十二年来，他这样子的一个经验，在他的神府里面就有他的学生，事实上得到泰国的。台湾有所谓的十大神农奖，在泰国当然也有。那泰国的呃，也也是不只是十大，事实上得到第一名，还不止一位，有两位，有三位。所以事实上是证明他这些就是米之神发展的技术，证明了高产量是可以完全不依赖这些科技的。但是政府不推广，附近的农友其实也不跟随。简单来讲，就是他们米之神基金会附近大概呃都是农田嘛，啊都是乡村的农田，大概有一百一百位的农友，一百多位农友，没有一个农友愿意这样子做。他也在想说到底发生什么事。其实后来想也蛮简单的，因为每天都被洗脑，洗脑科技的伟大，好、哦，那每天都被呃不管主流媒体都在讲这些，哦哦又有新的科技发现了，然后又有什么什么可以解决什么虫害，每天都被洗脑。所以他认为，其实比科技更恐怖的是这些哦，天天在这些天天在洗脑的这些呃主流技术观点的这些呃媒体。So I show you some technique that、uh, use in growing rice、uh, around three technique. One is a technique to Control pest or pest management is the easiest. The second is a technique for improving soil without any chemical. It's an intermediate or the secondary. The last is a technique that improves seed or seed development. Is the more difficult. The last one. So these three technique, the hygiene variety or the chemical promoter said. They are very best. You cannot develop any technique that better than this. So I can prove that even I, who not study in agronomy, can develop the technique all three that more better, cheaper, easier, and not destroy any chemical or any ecology at all. So this is the first one, the、uh, pest management technique. But pest is many, weed, disease, and insect. But insect is easy to show. So I show you only the insect technique to how to control insect that destroy the rice. So he today is going to share with you three techniques. The first one is the pest control. 哦，病虫害的技术。第二个技术是如何，呃，就是增进土壤的呃能力，啊、哦，增进土壤的养分。第三个技术是如何提高种子的品质。呃，那这三个的技术整体的使用起来，产产就是第一个这个技术是呃证明了它的产量更好，而且更便宜，因为你不用花钱。不用花钱买东买肥料，买化学肥料。第三个是，它不难，蛮容易的。虽然跟小说他不是学经济学的，但是已经从经济的观点证明这三个技术加起来是完全符合刚刚讲的，呃，便宜又好，然后又容易。The technique of chemical control the insect is simple. You just spray to kill them. Easy. It's come, it's kill. Maybe not come, just spray for prevention. 
so this uh, philosophy that chemical can use prevention or kill is the only way to control the insect because insect is enemy it's not good you want to try them no insect is best in the petty field that no insect is the perfection this is a philosophy that behind the belief so we prove that it's wrong insect is useful even the bad insect is useful so the first thing that we manage them got to know them you don't know insect so you must know them first before you do anything so we go to the field and catching them by the farmer themselves just catching what in the field we must know it's really simple just catch them he's catch already <laughs> <laughs>甚至有人还说等到你看到都来不及了叫连没看到的时候就要预防就要喷叫撒邓怕的对吧啊你没看到也是一样要喷这是化学的观念那简单讲这样的思维是把所有的虫都当做敌人哦都全部当做敌人
and you have no friend to control them, you make super bug, super uh, bad insect by yourself, by kill your friend, and make them more strong for the troll you. You are stupid, very stupid. <laughs>呃其实在田里面其实蛮简单的它吃荤的都是吃荤的都是一虫吃素的大概都不是我们的朋友简单来讲啊像蜘蛛这种吃荤的哦我自己是吃素的所以不要希望各位不要介意好那田里面那
just go again and just watching them, just sit and watching them. This insect, what they do? They're just sucking the rice or they're chasing for the bad insect. You can see easily. If you cannot see, ask your friend. If you're not blind, you can see. 比如說前兩張那有一個害蟲叫捲葉蟲那捲葉蟲的意思就是會把葉子捲起來躲在裡面你葉子捲起來你朋友用要來碰不到它那有很多小的蟲那當然最重要的是像他們這樣在田裡面
啊，异虫都是害虫的二十倍以上。就是、观察，如果看哎、欸，差不多害异虫比害虫多很多，那就回家睡觉，什么不要喷。但是如果当然，如果发现说哎、欸、不太对哦，害虫好像比异虫多一点，那或许协助他一下，协助。但是他说，在他真的需要干预的时候，大概每四五年才需要干预一次。哦，平常的时候就是仔细观察，感受到害虫、异虫比害虫的比例多，去观察，然后看完你就就回家了。<笑> Last month, he and his group training in my office,、uh, my organization, and the last day, <coughs> he go to the field that we growing the rice more than three hundred variety in one one plot. More than 300 variety. Every variety have no insect at all. Not the try at all. A lot of insect, but they control themselves. Four months after we growing until harvesting, we never spray at all. Not even once. Nothing. Ask him what happened. It's very healthy. It's very beautiful and yield a lot. So it proved that nonsense to spray at all. You just sleep is better. 呃，当然，呃，他提到的是我们上个月，其实差不多两个礼拜前啊，就是到他们的农田旁边，啊、呃，等于是他们的呃，在应该说不同的品种，在这个农田里面，他们的呃，说实验好像说这个没有办法应用，但事实上，他那个农田就是在运用的，呃，有三百多个品种，每个品种都活得很好，因为品种本身就很健康，他们从来没有喷过任何的药，然后每一个品种都非常的高产。哦，事实就是说，事实证明一切啊！哦，就是不需要去喷这些农药，这些品种好的，而且他们自己自然会去调整。And、the question is, if the bad insect is too much, cannot control by the good insect, how you can control them? Easy, just help them, not working by yourself, but just help the good insect work better. That you is the What do you call the emergency helper? Only don't work if not emergency. So you must use some herbal like neem. This neem, a lot in my country, we eat neem also, and this kalanga, for tom yum, I eat a lot. So both of these can control easily all insect that pests of the rice, but we use only. <coughs> Emergency, and when you use both of these, they don't destroy any good insect. They just control bad insect only. So easily, when you spray once, you just counting. If the good insect is control, you stop spraying at all. Normally, we just spray them four or five years once only. It's very easy to control insect if you believe in nature. This. The first principle. 什么时候需要去做一点点的一个干预？只有在非常非常紧急的情况，哦，就是救急的情况。那救急的情况，比如说田里面发现那个害虫不知道什么原因的的一个比例很高的时候，那通常他们就会像刚刚前面看到的，左边那个是印度苦楝树，那就只是说印度苦楝树去哦去呃，等于是提炼印度苦楝树的那个。哦，等于是拿印度苦楝树的那个油出来喷，那呃，而且它有个好处是它完全不会去杀益虫，它只控制害虫，让害虫的数量减少一点，让益虫慢慢慢慢在增加。哦，那只是超四五年需要这样，它的经验是四五年才偶尔需要这样子紧急的帮忙做一些调整就够了。Because it's almost、uh, eight, so I just have two minutes. To introduce this before we stop, and we come back again to learn more about technique in root soil and seed after we have the break. So, introduce this woman is a symbol of the soil or the earth in Thailand. It's Mother Earth. We believe that this Mother Earth protect all the earth, the soil. This symbol, uh, Mother Earth. Squeeze her hair because some evil disturb the Buddha, 
who gonna uh, enlightenment that he will come and try to disturb the Buddha and the mother earth come and squeeze the water to fly all the even. This is our symbol of the mother earth. So if you respect mother earth, you will find the technique that help mother earth more and more beautiful and more healthy. But the chemical kill mother earth because you not respect. You put everything that poison kill her. So why we must change the technique that kill the mother earth to be the technique that heal the mother earth. So after the break, I can continue this.增进土壤的等于是土壤的营养土壤的强度那这个是在泰国这个就是等于是应该说土地之神那这个土地之神他刚刚描述一下这个这样子的符号在我刚刚听的时候其实不是很了解我等一下再问他一下再跟各位说明